years ago <clears throat> um, when I was a young man I woke up in a dream this was before I ever started to investigate anything before I wrote my book and uh, I wrote I woke up in this dream and a friend of mine's husband was in front of me and I hated this dude because he was a fucking pedophile and in the dream I had this blue beam coming out of me hitting him and I knew it was hurting him and uh, I disliked this dude so I increased it picked him up about four feet off the fucking ground and uh, he was writhing in pain all of a sudden his feet caught on fire and it was that moment in time I looked down and realized that my feet had already been on fire and it was that moment in the dream I was spun 180 degrees and I was standing in the presence of God and I was told that this was my price this is what I had to go through to do what I wanted to these people because Lucian Greaves, founder of the Satanic Temple, they'll go on and on about how obsessed with their group I've been. But they have no fucking clue how far and how deep that obsession really has been. Lucian Greaves handlers have to be fucking wondering how I'm still alive. With all the shit they've done to me, just that thing, what, a couple months ago where they almost killed me? They have to be wondering why I am still alive. Let me tell you, in order to get something, you have to give it first. And they have given me plenty. And it's all been channeled into the goddamn dark. I've said that people who find themselves in the new garden will breathe in joy. That is their atmosphere. But if you're in the fucking dark, my worst day with their fucking microwave bullshit will be like a daydream to the people in the dark. I had to know what it felt like. And I know what it feels like. I know the torture that they have put people through. And I have survived it. And now, very soon, it's going to be fucking returned to them. And they can run around and call me whatever names they want and all of that and spin like tops. But it won't change the fact that you reap what you sow and they have sown plenty and they're about ready to get it back with the full force of fucking heaven they're counting on one dude my prediction is the rug is going to be pulled out from underneath them when they least expect it Right when they tri think they're triumphant is when it's going to happen. God and heaven is going to fuck those child killers. And there's no group that deserves it more.